been 24 hours since those strong storms moved through our area. The National Weather Service confirming an EF1 tornado did strike in Monroe County, and that tornado was on the ground for five miles. Good evening, everyone. I'm Taryn Asher. And I'm Ruth Raj. The one thing we're very thankful for tonight, there are no reports of injuries despite images mm -hmm. like these. Fox 2's Camille Amiri joins us live from Frenchtown Township tonight. Camille, what are you seeing out there now? Well, you know, some of the destruction is really unreal. How much? Look at this tree. Okay, I'm five foot four. Look at how high it is. And then all of a sudden, it is just uprooted completely on the ground. Well, it seemed like a pretty calm night. At least that's how Thursday night started in Frenchtown Township. And I had just gotten home from work, making a little dinner, a little thunderstorm. It may have started out as a little thunderstorm, but it morphed into something much more serious. I was actually in the, taking a shower, and I heard a noise. It sounded like a freight train coming through, and I was like, what was going on? So I peeked out the window, and everything was yellow, and the trees were just going crazy. Some of them snapping like matchsticks. I heard the trees hitting the ground, and... Yeah, it was pretty, pretty scary. On the ground, in the air, it was flying all over. Was, I'd never seen anything like it. I don't have a basement, so I just kind of leaned against the wall. The destruction minor in some places, major in others. This house destroyed by a toppled tree. So we were driving back from New York City. On our way back, we were in like the Cleveland area on I-80 and we hear on social media that we are a tornado touched down in our neighborhood. Fearing the worst, they didn't quite know what to expect. Our neighbor actually yeah. even told us that it looked like a war zone when we first, yeah. when that first happened. Thankfully, we, the storm completely missed us. We only had a few branches down. And we have three humongous trees in our yard. Thankfully, no one was hurt. And as it turns out, that old saying rang true. Every cloud has a silver lining. All of these neighbors joined up and were out here with chainsaws within a matter of minutes, clearing the street, helping each other. And this is an example of all that teamwork. We're actually right across the street from where we were at the beginning of the story. You can see all these logs. So all of the branches were cut off. These logs still here waiting to get picked up. But we definitely have seen so much progress compared to what we heard. All of these streets were basically impassable last night. Everything just cleaned up so quickly because of everybody working together. And again, we can't stress this enough. Thankfully, no one was hurt. Live in Frenchtown Township, Camille Mary, Fox 2 News. Yeah, talking to Weather Authority Stephanie Mead, she says this happened right about 6.15 p.m. or so. Timing is critical. If this was at night when people were sleeping, we know many people may have gotten hurt. We heard that one guy say he was awake and he was able to lean up against a wall. Yeah, and you know, it was broad daylight too, so that helped as well. If had it happened in the middle of the night and pitch dark, that might have been a lot worse. The guy in the shower said he actually got out of the shower, you know, he saw everything, and then he was actually able to get into his basement. He says he has what's called a Michigan basement, and he got in there. But one of the things that everybody said is it came through so quickly, and then it was over. Root, back to you. All right, Camille and Mary, we're so grateful, so thankful for that. Thanks for that live report.